Today I'm going to quickly show you guys how to install sodium and iris shaders for Minecraft 1.19.3. So let's get right into it. All right, so before we can start, you'll have to have two things done already. First, you have to run 1.19.3 at least once, and you also have to have Java installed. So Java is super easy to install. My last Optifine video goes over it, but it's super simple to install. And yeah, if you have that installed, that's good. All right, first we're going to install sodium. So to install sodium, you just type up sodium. Once you type that up, you're just going to go to curseforge.com right here, sodium. And once you've done that, you should see this is the official one. It has 17.5 million downloads. And you're going to scroll down right here to where it says Minecraft 1.19. And you're just going to click it right here, download file. You're just going to click keep and then you should see it will start installing to your computer. Next, we're going to get fabric installed. So to uh, install it, you're just going to type fabric Minecraft. And then you're going to go to the fabricmc.net. Then from here, you're gonna click up here and it says download. And you're gonna download two things. First, we're gonna install the universal jar. So that's to install fabric, so just click that. I don't know if this is required for all mods, but it's good to also install the fabric API, which is super easy. So just click that and it should bring you here. And you just need to click 1.19.3, which is right here. All right, so you should see all three of these installed. We're going to get Iris installed later, just so everybody who just needs sodium installed can just watch this part. And yeah, let's just get it all installed now. All right, so these are the three things you just installed. I just moved them from my downloads folder to my desktop. So we got the sodium fabric, the fabric installer, and the fabric API. So first, we're just going to install fabric. So you're just going to double click on it and wait. And you got to select your version you want. So I'm choosing 1.19.3 and you just click install. And super fast, it's already been installed, and you just click OK, and you can close it. Next, to install the other two, we're going to open the Minecraft launcher, and we're going to navigate to our installations, and you're going to see right here, it says Fabric Loader 1.19.3. And to actually install the mod, you're going to go over here to right where it says the file thing, and that's going to open up the game directory. Now, to install the Fabric API in Sodium Fabric, you're going to look for the one that says Mods. If you don't have a Mods folder, that's 100% OK. You can just right click and add a new folder and name it mods and make sure it just says mods. So we're going to double click on mods. And since I already have these in here, I'm just going to remove them. doesn't matter. And we're just going to drag in the fabric API and sodium fabric. And that's it. So we're going to reopen the Minecraft launcher, wait for it to load with this sick new animation. And once it's open, we're going to look for fabric launcher 1.19.3 and click it. I'm going to click play and open it. All right, so we're in Minecraft now, and you'll know that we have sodium installed if you go around to options, video settings, and you see this menu that doesn't look like the normal one. And yeah, you can leave it just on its own now, and you'll get a great boost in performance, even more than Optifine. And yeah, if you want to learn how to install iris shaders, just keep watching. All right, so iris is super easy to install. We're just going to type up iris shaders, and we're going to click the first one, irisshaders.net. And we're going to go to download now. I'm going to click download universal jar just like before. And it should start installing up into the corner. Now before we leave this, we're also going to want to install our preferred shaders. So I'm going to just use BSL shaders just like before. So we're just going to type BSL shaders. And you go to this one. Download. And click download via CurseForge. Then you should be brought to CurseForge and you'll see the download has started up here. All right, to install Iris, we're just gonna double click on it and you'll be brought to this page. So select the game version, we're using 1.19.3. And you don't need to change any of this if you're just installing it normally on your normal disk. You're just gonna click install. The download and that's it. So now to actually install the shaders, we just have to open our uh, directory again. All right, so you should see down here iris and sodium for 1.19.3. We're going to click our installations and choose this little thing here. And now when we're in here, we're going to locate the one that says shader packs. If you don't have it, once again, you can just create a folder that says shader packs. And all you're going to need to do is open it up. Well, I already have mine in there. You just have to drag it in and that's it. All right, so we're going to hop back into the Minecraft launcher and you can see here that we have the new version installed and all you need to do is click play. All right, so we're in Minecraft now and to activate the shaders, you just click options, video settings, and we're going to look for the one that says shader packs. In here, you can see we have the BSL shaders and you just click them to apply. And there you go. And yeah, that's how to install sodium and iris shaders for Minecraft 1.19.3. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you in the next video.